Yeah, this is Reverend Howard, pastor of Detroit Apostolic Fellowship here in Detroit, Maine. And I'd like to introduce you to this Search for Truth Home Bible Study. It's a very good Bible study. I think you would really enjoy it. We take this into the home, into your home to teach it. We taught it in, in jail. Uh, it can be taught in group session. However you, want to, however you want to do it, we can teach it. And it's very good. Again, it's Search for Truth. It's a 10-week course that we do. And uh, it covers the entire Bible and during this time. The name of it is Search for Truth, where it opens your heart when you open your Bible. And, of course, we start out in the beginning. It talks about the books of the Old Testament and what's in the Old Testament. Uh, how many books there are in there. It's quite interesting. Gets into the creation. Get into the fall of Adam and Eve, the fall into sin, the expulsion. Uh, story about Cain and Abel. Then we get into Noah and the flood, talk about that. And we uh, talk about the flood and all. And also about the size of the ark. The ark was quite large in its appearance uh, and its ability to hold things. But we talk about that and then we wrap up the first lesson with signs of the time between Noah and the, uh, and the flood and the coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, they both kind of coincidence with one another. Then we get into the second, uh, your second lesson. And it goes on, tells about how Israel got its name. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how Israel got its name. Then we, we wrap up the third, and we start the third lesson with about Noah, about, and I'm sorry, not Noah, but Moses, and how God delivered them, Egypt, Israel out of Egypt. Then we get into the tabernacle, talk about the different furniture that's in the tabernacle. And it's uh, very enlightening on how they do it. And also how the tabernacle was laid out in the form of a cross. Then we get into the Old Testament, the final, on the fourth lesson, we wrap up the Old Testament, talk about familiar Bible stories, uh, Jonah and the whale, talk about Samson, Daniel and the lion's den, talk about all that, and then also the restoration of the rebuilding of the wall. And then we get into Jesus' ministry. And the next two lessons is talk about Jesus, about his ministry, and what he'd done during his time here on earth. And then, uh, of course, we had to flip the chart over here, but then we talk about who Jesus is. You know, Jesus, there was Jesus in his relationship with God. And then uh, we'll get into the, the crucifixion, and how, you know, and Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. And then, of course, the resurrection and him being resurrected. And then we'll get into the church age and what Peter had to, what Peter told, what Peter told people on the day of Pentecost and uh, baptism and then how to live for, for God. What, what does it mean to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? And then uh, the church persecution, we'll get into that. And then your last two chapters or lessons, lessons nine and lesson 10 deals with end time prophecy and what's gonna happen in the end times about the rapture of the church and also about the Antichrist, him coming into power. And uh, then we get into the, tri the great tribulation and what's gonna happen in the end time. And then uh, the ultimate return of the Lord Jesus Christ to judge the world. You'll find this to be very interesting. Uh, you can ask questions and uh, what we do also, we hand out, we pass handouts at the end of the, the lesson, each lesson that has all the scriptures that we use, plus some of the, the graphics on here on this chart. And I would encourage you to, if you're interested in learning the Bible, after 10 weeks, you'll really have a very good understanding of the Bible, how it works and what the purpose is. I would encourage you to, to explore God's word, to search for truth and ask God to show you what truth is and request this Bible study. I think you'll find it very interesting. May the Lord bless you as you search for truth.